Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. In this video, I wanted to do a review on the book that I used for Physics 3, otherwise known as Modern Physics. So this is the book I used for the course, and I actually got an A in Physics 3. Um, I think I got Bs and B pluses in Physics 1 and 2, but Physics 3 was the one that I really liked, and maybe part of the reason was this book. Um, the last time I checked, which, which was years ago, this book had some somewhat negative reviews on Amazon, but I honestly thought it was a really good book, and I'll put a link in the description uh, after I make this video and post it. Uh, and maybe the reviews are more positive now. I guess I'll find out uh, after I make this video. Let's take a look inside this book. So this is the table of contents, and so in Physics 3 we talk about uh, different things, right? Relativity, and then more relativity, which is really, really cool. It's very different from uh, the first two physics classes. We have more beautiful physics stuff here. The nuclear atom, you know, all kinds of stuff. Let me go through this kind of briefly so we can go and look inside deeper into the book. The Schrodinger equation. Ah, yes. Classic stuff. Atomic physics. Statistical physics. There's quite a bit of information uh, in this book. Molecular structure and spectra. Solid state physics. goes on and on. More nuclear physics, nuclear reactions and applications, particle physics, going kind of fast, astrophysics and cosmology, and then there are some other things here, some appendices, and then there are answers to some of the problems in the book. Let's take a look inside this book. So I think the readability of this book uh, is okay. Uh, I have not read that many physics books, but I did read this one because I took a course with this book, and I read every single chapter uh, that we covered, and I read it multiple times. Um, I struggled uh, to read through the book. You know, I had a hard time, uh, but I managed to take the course and come out with an A. You know, I did all my homework. Uh, I tried hard. I think this is a pretty good physics book. Um, I think it says a lot that I actually did better in Physics 3 than in Physics 1 and 2. Um, so maybe it was because the book was better, or, or maybe it was the teacher. Who knows? Overall, though, the readability of this book is, is pretty good, but it's still a physics book, so you do have to work hard and read it very, very slowly. The coolest thing about Physics 3 and this book in general, for me, uh, was the exercises, right? Two spaceships are approaching each other. If the speed of each is 0.9 c relative to Earth, what is the speed of one relative to the other? So uh, relativity is really, really cool. Um, um, so the problems uh, that you do in Physics 3 are really, really interesting. So as you can see, the book does have answers, which makes it uh, useful uh, for self-study. Now again, I did not use this book uh, for self-study. I use this for a course. So I had notes, I had a lecture, you know, I had friends I studied with that helped me understand things. You know, I had to work very, very hard uh, to understand all of this stuff, right? My background is a math background, not a physics one. So overall, I think this was a pretty good book. Uh, I'm happy that uh, I, I was able to use this book for the class I took years ago. And the book is Modern Physics, and it's written by Tipler and, I don't know how to say that name, Llewellyn. <laughs> Uh, pretty good book. If you can find a used copy for a few dollars, uh, I say why not? That's it.